We have proof of who the next NBA dynasty is, and you're not going to be able to guess who it is. They did it by copying exactly how the last NBA dynasty was created with surprising trades, drafting solid players, and getting a coach with a system that fits the team perfectly. They even have a former Dubs player. So who is it? It's the Sacramento Kings, who are arguably the most entertaining team in the league. Have the highest offensive rating in the NBA history in the 2022-23 season. They were the third seed in the West and pushed the defending champs to the brink of elimination. But here's why the Kings should be absolutely pumped for their future and how that first round loss could be the beginning of a dynasty. After years of mismanagement, busted draft picks, and star players leaving left and right, the Kings have finally gotten it together. But don't forget, after they traded away Tyrese Halliburton in 2022, everyone was scratching their heads. Halliburton was seen as a core building block and a fan favorite on top of that. But what were they thinking? In return, the Sacramento Kings got Demonis Sabonis, who was arguably the Kings' best player in the 2022-23 season. The big man is a double-double machine and has even been one of the team's primary playmakers, giving them their own version of Nikola Jokic. Plus, he's 27 with still plenty of all-star years left in the tank. Then you have the engine of it all, De'Aaron Fox. He has been the Kings franchise centerpiece since he was drafted. He became an all-star for the first time in 2023, leading the team in scoring and named Clutch Player of the Year. Fox is only 25 and hasn't even hit his prime yet. Then there's the Kings super rookie, Keegan Murray. Drafted fourth overall in 2022, he played his role perfectly this season. Murray has said that he studied Klay Thompson a lot before he got drafted, and it showed. Because the rookie record for three-pointers made in a season, and more importantly, given the spacing the Kings offense needs. Malik Monk is the key sixth man who provides a scoring spark whenever they need it. And if you look back, every dynasty has had one Kevin Herter, who was a three-point specialist for spacing. Davion Mitchell is a defensive mastermind of the making. Harrison Barnes is a solid player who even has championship experience. And they have one former member of the Warriors championship team, someone who's a crucial part of the Kings' success. And they're absolutely not here without him, Mike Brown, who was Steve Kerr's assistant for a couple of years. But with Sacramento, he won Coach of the Year and had the best season of his coaching career since he coached LeBron in Cleveland. Comparisons aside, it's not hard to see something is cooking in Sacramento. The culture has shifted, and the beam has re-energized the entire fan base. Gone are the struggles of trying to stay out of the basement every year. Gone are the wasted draft picks and questionable GM moves. Now they got the most entertaining team in the league with one of the brightest young cores in the NBA. And if you add a little on defense with some rim protection or perimeter defenders, they have the potential to be strong contenders for the next half decade. Get used to the new Kings and get used to the beam because if you blink with the speed and youth of the Kings core, they'll race to the first championship banner in Kings history.